and I'm gonna light her up. It's before six o'clock in the morning here right now, because yes, it is summertime. So the sun does come up early, even though we're surrounded by snow. <laughs> and we are fishing 100 feet down. I'm just gonna see if this will help get their attention a little bit. Jig fishing is very effective when the fish want to play. And so we're gonna start by fishing jigs to see if these fish are active today or if we need to slow down our presentation. So in today's episode, what we're gonna be talking about mostly, if the fish cooperate, is vertical fishing. Now we're gonna do a part two to this series on how to troll for trophy lake trout. But today is all about jigs and bait fishing vertically. Let's see if we can get on our first fish right off the bat. Okay, good to go. Dropping her down. There's some active ones right there at 40 feet. And Todd, what type of jigging motion are we looking for here? I just pulse it. Not, not very aggressive. Here he comes. Eat it. So he's right. You can see where the two lines came together. He is right in my jig. So that's when I'll put it in gear. And so if he's not committing, Cody, that's when I'll, you know, I'll raise it up like, like it's trying to get away and then just stutter it on the way down. Seems to, be, seems to be good for me. And right there, he just committed. See him come shooting up there? First, you gotta find the fish. Second is presentation. We're gonna try and stick with jigs, but we're changing up our presentation with long jigs or just little short thumps to see if they will react better to one way or the other. The next is color and scent. So when these fish come up and look and they're not biting, it could be the profile, it could be the color, but I'm gonna mess around with scent here right now and see if that makes a difference. So what I'm gonna do first is add in some UV flash, just because we are fishing down 90 to 120 feet. So this should hopefully shine a little bit brighter down there for them. And then next, anytime I'm trying to elicit a response out of fish, I go with what I call olfactory blockers. So either anisent or in this case, garlic. Really strong, heavy scents, really get their attention and you get that fight or flight reaction out of them. So I'm gonna add the UV flash and some garlic here to my fish field jig, see if that makes a difference. Hopefully it does. If not, we need to keep on changing up color and scent and our profile of the bait until we figure out what they wanna chew on. Time to load it up. 